नमस्ते गणेश जी नमस्ते नमस्ते वेलकम एवरीबॉडी तो वील स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन लेक्चर नंबर थ्री विच इज ऑन कंटिन्यूस हैप्पीनेस एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी द बेसिक ह्यूमन एस्पिरेशन नमस्ते एवरीबॉडी सो विल बिगिन विद द की पॉइंट्स ऑफ लेक्चर थ्री एंड देन क्वेश्चंस so we were talking about this self exploration and we looked into this content of self exploration as happiness prosperity and its continuity so we'll try to uh, get into some details about it so uh, <clears throat> let's ask this question to ourselves do we want happiness do we want prosperity do we want the continuity of happiness and prosperity so do we desire for this all three of them happiness prosperity and its continuity so if we ask our natural acceptance the answer is very clear that we do all want happiness prosperity and its continuity in that sense we can see that our desires are not unlimited they are not indefinite right we desire for happiness prosperity and its continuity and that's all so all that we desire you know we have a long list of desires but now you can see that all of them are basically in order to either ensure happiness or prosperity or its continuity so we can all see for ourselves through our own natural acceptance that ultimately our desire is for happiness prosperity and its continuity so what we intend to do is to explore into this what happiness is and what prosperity is and if we can <clears throat> define and understand happiness and prosperity then we can work out how we can ensure this happiness this prosperity and its continuity so today what we intend to do is to define this happiness and this prosperity generally we think that happiness is something which is very vague it is some mental condition mental state and it is very difficult to define it means different things to different people so what we have done here is define this happiness as a proposal for you and you can verify for yourself whether this is true for you or not true for you so when <clears throat> defining happiness we are saying that we as human being live in different states or different situation and if i look at the state or situation in which i live in if there is harmony there is synergy in it then it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state in that situation and of course i want to continue to be in that state in that situation so to be in a state of harmony in a state of synergy is happiness so ultimately we are saying that happiness is to be in harmony so whenever we are in harmony we are in a state of happiness this is a simple definition which we can verify for ourselves on the other hand if you look at unhappiness what it says is that if the state or situation in which i am in, in if there is disharmony there if there is contradiction there then i this is not naturally acceptable to me to be in that state 
in that situation. Right? And I want to get out of this. I want to run away from that state or situation. But if I'm not able to do that, and if I am forced to be in that state of disharmony, that state of contradiction, then I'm in a state of unhappiness. So unhappiness is basically to be forced to be in a state of disharmony, in a state of contradiction. So this is the definition of happiness and unhappiness. Probably you can verify better this definition of unhappiness because you have been facing this all through and through. So whenever there is disharmony, there is contradiction, I don't want to be in that state of situation. I want to run away from that, I want to get out of it. But if I'm not able to get out of it and I'm forced to be in that state of situation, then my state of being is what I call as unhappiness. So unhappiness basically is to be forced to be in a state of disharmony, in a state of contradiction. On the other hand, happiness is to be in a state of harmony, in a state of synergy. So this is the definition of happiness and each one of us can verify whether this definition of happiness holds good for us or it does not good for, hold good for me. So basically the state or situation in which I live in, if there is harmony, if there is synergy in it, then this is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state, that situation. I want to continue with that state. So effectively to be in a state of harmony and synergy is happiness. So what we are saying is happiness is to be in harmony. This is the definition of happiness, which each one of us can verify on our own right. right? Asking our own natural acceptance, whether I want to be in a state of harmony or a state of contradiction. Right? So if I, my natural acceptance is to be in harmony, then whenever I'm in a state of harmony within, I'm in a state of happiness within. So this is the definition of happiness, which each one of us can verify. <clears throat> and now we can also check whether this happiness means different to different people or it is same for all of us. So given that you must have been you know, exploring into it in this <clears throat> lecture three, I'm just trying to sum up what are the essential points which have been made in this lecture three, which either you must have already verified or you are in the process of verification. So given this definition of happiness, now the issue is how do I ensure the continuity of happiness? Because that's our concern, that's our basic desire. So in order to ensure continuity of happiness, now I have to look into the total expanse of my being. So wherever I live, <clears throat> in whatever state or situation I live, I must be in a state of harmony, in a state of synergy. So let's look at the different expanse of our being, you know, total expanse of our being. So if you look at this state or situation in which I live in, these are the five levels that we can identify, the four levels that we can identify. We live as an individual, as a human being. Then we live as a member of the family. We live as a member of the society. And ultimately we live as a unit in nature, in existence. So these are the four levels of my existence as a human being. And this I can identify, this every one of us can identify. That essentially these are the levels in which I live as a human being. So if I can identify this total expanse of my being, and if I can see that happiness is to be, then what I need to do to ensure continuity of happiness is to understand the harmony and live in harmony at each of these levels. 
so the continuity of happiness is ensured by way of ensuring living in harmony at each of these levels so if i can do that you know that is the total expense of my being and if i can ensure to be in harmony at each of these levels then i can be in a state of happiness in continuity so the continuity of happiness is ensured by ensuring harmony at all levels of my being starting from you know <clears throat> as an individual as a part of the member of the family as a member of the society and as a member of the unit of the nature in existence so this is what we have to do to ensure continuity of happiness to understand the harmony and to live in harmony so our program for ensuring continuity of happiness is to facilitate understanding of the harmony at all levels of my being and then to live in harmony at all levels of my being <clears throat> so what we intend to do is to investigate into each of these levels start investigating the harmony in human being harmony in family then harmony in society and ultimately harmony in nature and existence and this is what this whole course is about so what we are doing is we are proposing this harmony at different levels so we are giving the proposal regarding the harmony at each of these levels starting with the harmony in human being and then each one of us can verify on our own on the basis of our own natural acceptance and also on the basis of our experiential validation so if you look at this whole course what we are trying to do essentially is trying to now go step by step investigate into the harmony at each of these level and once i we understand the harmony we are living in harmony at each of these levels of being so this is what we intend to do in this whole course so in this lecture we are essentially talking about this understanding the harmony at each of the level and living in harmony at each of these level and this is the program for ensuring continuity of happiness <clears throat> with this and as we go as we go on we'll anyway explore quite in detail each of each of these levels now with this let's briefly talk about the prosperity prosperity is another thing which is you know considered to be something very undefined and very vague so let us define this and see whether this means same thing for all of us or different things for different people so we have defined prosperity as feeling of <coughs> having more than what is required so when i have this feeling that i have more than what is required for me as physical facility then i am in a i am <coughs> state of prosperity so let us look at this definition prosperity means the feeling of having more than what is required physical facility or producing more than the required physical facility so if i can see that my need for physical facility is defined is definite and i can identify it and when i can see that i already have more than what is required as physical facility then the feeling that i get is what we are calling as the feeling of prosperity so there are basically two parts to it one is identifying the need of physical facility and second is having more than the required physical facility or producing more than the required physical facility because if this having physical facility more physical facility than required is to be ensured somebody has to produce anyway 
either I produce or my family produces it or my you know, friends and any member of the society produces it, but it has to be produced finally. Only then I can have the physical facility. So prosperity is defined as having this feeling that I have more than what is required as physical facility. And I can ensure more than what is required as physical facility. So we can look at this feeling, whether it is same, you know, it is this definition is holding good for me or not holding good for me. And then we can see whether it is same for all of us or different for different people. Two observations. Number one, you know, regarding this people with a feeling of prosperity or otherwise. One is that a prosperous person thinks of right utilization and thinks of nurturing others. So this having more is not to consume more. We we'll consume as much as is required. But what do we do with the more? We share with others. So we nurture. We nurture others. Think of nurturing others. And of course, when we ensure right utilization, then we can see that, yes, the need for physical facility is not unlimited. You know, it is required in a limited quantity. And I'm having more than what is required. So a prosperous person thinks of right utilization and thinks of nurturing others. On the other hand, if a person is feeling deprived, right, he thinks of accumulating. So if he thinks that he has less than what is required, then he goes on accumulating. So if one is not able to define one's physical need, then he goes on accumulating. Right. And he does not have that feeling of prosperity. And when he does not have this feeling of prosperity, instead of thinking of nurturing others, he thinks of exploiting others. So we can see whether we are in a state of prosperity or state of deprivation. Whether we are thinking of right utilization or we are thinking of accumulation. Whether we are thinking of nurturing others or we are thinking of exploiting others. So this is in essence what uh, you know we have been talking about in lecture three. We are talking about UHV2, a foundation course in universal human values and ethics. It has 28 lectures, 14 tutorials in five modules. And we are right now on module number one. Uh, there are these uh, different lectures. We have covered lecture one, lecture two. Actually, we started with lecture four. So four, one, two, and next we are right now doing lecture number three. So um, just wanted to place that. And I also wanted to sort of suggest that there are handouts uh, which have all the material. So please go into the, you know, study materials folder and download the material, take a look at it. So that would be useful. Thank you yes. very much. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.